Bonnie. Minister Mark. Now the ministers are now open to take questions, so I'd like to invite uh, Minister Rock, first of all, to come forward. And then the other ministers, I understand, will take questions as well. First of all, Alberta leads the country, and for those who couldn't hear the question, the question is why Edmonton, why here? Alberta leads the country in the rate of donations, and of course Edmonton is even ahead of that. The practices and experiences here in Alberta, I think, can teach the rest of us a lot. Second, I think it's important to get some of these, uh, these activities outside Ottawa. You know, last week we announced the Romano Commission on the future sustainability of Medicare, that commission is going to be focused in Saskatchewan, not Ottawa, although they'll have an Ottawa office as well. So getting the work of the Government of Canada outside Central Canada is important, and we welcome the opportunity to have the Secretariat and the Council based right here. The question is, why is Canada so far behind other countries? I asked the Standing Committee on Health to look into that question two years ago. And they came up with 18 recommendations after they looked at the practice here and elsewhere. I think from their report, one of the most basic reasons is that we haven't had, uh, I think someone's about to be called, hang on a second. We haven't had um, an organized effort like this where there's a national strategy. another thing that Gary Marr mentioned that I wasn't aware of until they pointed it out but one of the key things is to have a team in the hospitals who are specially trained to deal with families who are going through the trauma of a loved one's death to work with them toward the decision of allowing the donation to take place we find that hospitals where those teams are present have a much higher rate of donation so I think what we need to do is to share these insights across the country, have a, an organized, coordinated national st strategy like they do in some of their places, and that's what today's all about. Nous avons l'intention d'aborder une campagne pan-canadienne pour sensibiliser la, po la population canadienne envers l'importance des données des organes et tissus pour la transplantation. Euh, nous sommes, comme ministre de la Santé, pleinement conscients de l'importance de cette approche, de, de ces mesures, mais euh, jusqu'aux dates, on n'a pas, euh, pas eu une approche pan-canadienne pour euh, faire en sorte que les Canadiens et Canadiennes sont euh, eux-mêmes euh, conscients euh, de la situation. Alors, euh, après aujourd'hui, nous avons l'intention de financer, organiser une campagne euh, dans chacun et chacune des provinces, en partenariat avec euh, les gouvernements pro provinciaux, euh, pour euh, sensibiliser tout le monde concernant les choses que nous avons entendues nous-mêmes euh, aujourd'hui euh, ici à Edmonton. La sensibilisation de la population est, est absolument clé si nous, euh, si nous allons gagner les objectifs que nous avons décrits aujourd'hui. Pardon? Pourquoi Edmonton? Parce que Alberta est la meilleure euh, province au Canada concernant le, le taux des, des données, des organes et tissus pour la transplantation. Et Edmonton est plus élevé que ça. Alors, nous avons beaucoup à apprendre de les, des pratiques, des approches adoptées par le gouvernement d'Alberta. Alors, la deuxième chose, c'est que c'est très important de, de placer les, les activités du gouvernement du Canada, pas seulement à Ottawa, dans la région euh, capitale, mais ailleurs aussi, au Québec, euh, en Alberta, et c'est aujourd'hui un exemple de cette approche. The question is, how will the $20 million be spent? And uh, the $20 million will be spent over five years to 
fund the Secretariat, which will be based here in Edmonton. Uh, there will be staffing and administrative expenses. There will be expenses involved with the National Council meeting. And there will also be expenses involved in broadcasting to the country what the National Council is doing, making sure that we uh, it's a transparent process. Uh, so, and, and part of it will also be devoted toward public awareness through purchasing media advertising or advertisements in newspapers or uh, activities in communities that tend to draw attention to the importance of signing the card and discussing the decision with families. The question is um, to congratulate me on how well I've done moving so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> on these recommendations that I thank you very much. Actually, the question was far more rude than that. And it, it <laughs> quoted others by, who apparently have said that I've been far too slow in responding. And uh, let me say that uh, uh, I probably have. I probably have. Um, and maybe it would have been possible to have this announcement earlier than today. Uh, but the good news is that um, uh, we brought all the strands together We've had uh, the officials from all those 14 health departments work together through all the details of the recommendations. We've sorted out uh, who will be on the council and who will appoint them. We've sorted out the funding and we've identified our objectives. So uh, there's no doubt that uh, I could have done a better job, uh, but I'm very glad that we're, we've arrived at the day where it's happening and that uh, now it's, in the hands, it's going to be in the hands of the council and they'll take it from here. Secretariat? Well, there'll be a council, and the Secretariat will be here as a permanent resource for the council. People to organize their meetings, people to pull together research, people to respond to direction from council about communicating decisions or uh, getting people organized. The council has the authority to create subcommittees to look into specific subjects. The Secretariat will make sure that those subcommittees meet provide them with any, anything they need to, uh, to get their job done. And the Secretariat will also oversee the organization and delivery of the awareness campaign by uh, contracting with people to prepare ads, making sure that they're placed at appropriate places, um, tracking results and, and publishing them through the council. So the Secretariat is going to be people who are trained, working full time to support the work of the National Council and to carry it through. primary mission is, um, yes, research to understand the issues and advertising to, uh, to advance the awareness efforts and supporting the council in its work. Mr. Roth, thank you very much. It's time well, to thank wrap you. It up.